Hello guys, I'm in a service call and uh, this is uh, the takeoff. I just installed the last video. So we have power, uh, apartment one and two are not calling. Apartment three is calling and it's the pump is on. Apartment five, we have a problem with apartment five with zone five. It's calling for heat, but the uh, end switch is not activating the pump. So the valve is not opening. So this is why I like this take control because it tells me if it's in yellow, it's calling for heat, and if it's in red, uh, it's the valve is open. So in number five, it's calling for heat, but the valve is not open. And then we're gonna go to number five, to valve number five. So this is number five. So the pump controller and the sound valve controller is telling me that the thermostat is calling for heat. And indeed, as you could see, I have my two leads on the motor leads and we have 24 volts. So that means we are getting 24 volts, but the motor is not turning. If you see there, my switch is not making. It's supposed to, uh, that gold piece is, to, is supposed to be pressing against that switch right there and it's not doing it so that means that the motor is faulty and it needs to be replaced and even though when we replace the motor it could be the insides of the guts that it's broken inside so you might change the motor you might change the whole zone valve but it's the the guts inside that need to be replaced but we don't know so we're going to replace the motor for now and uh, we're going to watch that switch travel this pallet the golden pallet and it should activate that switch so let's replace the motor so let's turn the heat off the boiler off just in case some of the wires touch other wires and you make a short and when you turn the power off all the valves return on its original position on the off position because they are all spring loaded so they come back to the off position when you turn the power off so we're going to replace this motor and uh, the orange and the yellow wires are connected to that motor so what we're going to do is we're going to cut these two wires since we're replacing the motor you can cut them closer to the motor rather than closer to here so first thing we're gonna uh, undo there's one screw here and we're gonna undo that screw and then we're gonna pull it back and then we're gonna um, cut the wires and put the new motor the screw is kind of small, so you have to be careful not to lose it. Put it in a safe place. Okay, so this is the screw. Let's put it in the box. And now we're going to remove the motor. That's pretty straightforward. And as you could see, the yellow and the orange is the motor and the two reds is the end switch. And as you could see, the oil for the motor was uh, dripping, it was leaking, so the motor wasn't working. Hopefully we don't have to replace the guts in the back so we're gonna cut the wires closer to the motor. And we're gonna untangle this so we have more room. Okay. 
and we're gonna do we're gonna this is our motor and that's 802360JA zone valve motor so this is our new motor and it comes with the wire nuts and some stud screws so I cut them longer than I bent the wire to make it double so the smallest wire nuts grab so see these are kind of three quarter long and then I'm gonna bend it so my wire nut there you go same position same We're going to turn the heat on. Look at that. All of them are calling for heat. Number six is working. Number three is working. And number five is not responding. So the motor is not moving that because it's frozen. It's so to remove the sound, the whole valve we have two screws. We have one here. And this is the other one here on the other side. So I removed the whole zone valve and since I'm here, I'm gonna shut everything off. I'm gonna isolate it. Uh, I have valves everywhere, so I am not gonna lose much water, just a tiny bit. So I'm gonna shut off the supply, the supply line right there, which is sh shut uh, because that one comes from there. That's, this is it, that's it. So I'm gonna open up these and find out if the guts are bad. So I open it up, but not many, not much what is coming out because it's in a vacuum. Once I remove the screws here, it's gonna break the vacuum and then water is gonna come from there. Now, I'm gonna pull this off. Look at that. So this part, it's frozen. The motor is not able to move it. This is frozen, it doesn't move at all. It's it's supposed to move, I'm, I'm trying to move it, but it's, it's frozen, it doesn't move. So it's all corroded from here. So uh, the motor cannot move these because it's all corroded. So we're gonna replace this. So I removed uh, the ball valve and it is full of sediment, full of corrosion and it's hard, I cannot move it. It's hard, very hard to move. So the motor tried to move it, but it couldn't, so the motor burnt. And this I cannot move with my fingers. See, it's stuck. But look at the new one. It moves very easy. So uh, we are replacing the, the ball valve that goes inside. And we're gonna replace the seal. 
the rubber piece. So we're gonna remove this one and we're gonna put the new one. And you have to make sure that this is on the left side because this part where it goes in is on the left side. So it goes like that. So it goes like that. And there's two types of screws. We're gonna put the hollow one at the corners, uh, right here in this corner because that's where the zone valve body goes. See these are hollow and the screw goes in. And these are regular screws with no, uh, just regular screws with a regular head. And go across, don't go like this. Don't go like this one, then this one go, you know, perpendicular. So do this one here, this one here, then do this one, not all the way yet. Then do this one here, and then you can go however you want. And now what I'm doing, uh, the customer didn't want, didn't want me to put the, this, all one even though it has a new motor because uh, now the whole mechanism is a jeopardy so we're going to replace the whole thing so we don't get callbacks so this is on the left this is on the left where it goes in so you see so now it's going to go there Very simple. And now we're gonna do the wiring. Remember, yellow ones, the yellow is the motor and the red ones are the end switch. So I'm wiring it. Remember, um, remember the yellow, the yellow wires from the zone valve is the motor. And the red ones go to the end switch so the white and red goes to the motor, yellow ones, right there, and the end switch are the red ones, so we're gonna put the uh, red ones together, I mean the red one with the blue, and the other one, the other red one to the other, the yellow one to the red. So it doesn't matter which one. So one more time, yellow, yellow one from the motor, it's gonna go to red and white, and then blue and yellow are gonna be to the red ones right here. So that's it. So now let's turn it on to see uh, what happens. So let's turn it again and let's fly here. So you see, look at that, it's traveling to turn it on. Look at that. Boom, I heard it, and now I go here. And I go here, number five is calling for heat, and the pump is running, and the valve is open. So another another good job. So so we so we are good. So that's it, guys. Uh, you know, so sometimes it seems like it's just gonna be the motor, but if the if the bulb valve is not working, you don't know what what you're gonna find until you replace the motor. So uh, thanks for watching. See you next time. Thank you so much.